This video won't be that much about this uh, Moran's uh, CG65 Mark II as about the recapping and it was brought about by um, one of the questions I got from um, viewers of my videos this is what capacitors do you use for recapping? Well as a standard thing I just don't recap players because you know like this player isn't worth that much money even though it's a, it's a great machine technically and if I start spending time on replacing capacitors just because to make them newer you know it would just price myself out of the market so firstly you have to recognize what capacitors are there and what to do and what not to do well obviously you're not going to replace polycarbonates and you're not going to replace styrosyl or polystyrenes like those you should really if at, if at all concentrate on electrolytics but which ones? Mainly the ones that are close to voltage regulators. Like in this player, you have one, two, three, four, five voltage regulators, and they're surrounded by capacitors. So um, they would be like a prime candidate. Or will they? Well, I haven't touched any of them. Any of them at all. Why? Because all of them are made by Nihikon. And this is a very good company. And there has to be something drastically wrong for any of them to file. The, the green ones are Nihikon Muse, which are the in an audio path, but the rest are basically filtering capacitors here and there. But did they replace capacitors? Yes. So the question is more not what you put in, but what you take out. And Philips, which was the owner of Moran Brands when all these things were being made, and I suppose still is, was one of the, or perhaps the only company in history that would make every little part inside of their product. Samsung these days is perhaps the only current one that is close to it. So what went wrong with this player? It wouldn't read and firstly the remote I was said to be not working. So I had a little room on my desk working on something else. So I opened it up just to see and inside there's an early version, there's actually not a specific uh, remote chip, but some other uh, uh, small integration integrated circuit. And it had one of the Philips capacitors. And whether Philips radial capacitors sometimes are better, sometimes worse, if you see any of those, the actual ones, just replace them. You know, I, I'm pretty sure if you if I search around the world for a good actual capacitor that's 20 years old, you wouldn't find any. So there was one of them there and I put it in my tester. It says unknown part. It didn't say it was leaky or anything, it just said unknown part. So I knew that if there's any more of them, I'm in trouble and that's why this thing won't work. So I looked around and there weren't any. So the next thing, I was going to examine the mechanism. But the mechanism is the CDM4. It's the most reliable mechanism ever. So uh, it's unlikely for it to file. So once I remove that mechanism, and it's not an easy thing to do because you have to take a front panel and slide it all out. And um, of course, later you, you're going to find out you have to remove the board, and, and the board is bolted from the back. So it just has to come apart totally. So what happens is I found an extra three of them there and then of course another two on the display you know once I knew that they were faulty well I had to just search for them everywhere because although the display was still working obviously it was gonna file so if I'm gonna recondition the player it's better find them all so if you ever see any Philips brand capacitor an action in particular that's the one to go so basically it's not as much what you put in but what you take out, which ones to, to do, which ones to know. Now, as far as putting in, um, there, there are many different brands of capacitors. Here I have a real, um, I don't know if you can see it or not. This is a Rubicon thing from uh, the website. You know, there's many different types. The one that I'm interested in are low impedance ones, low ESR, equivalent series resistance. And this is the only ones I buy. And it doesn't really matter to me what brand they are. 
but they have to be from one of those six. And if you get one of those six, you know, Panasonic, Rubicon, Sanya, Elna, Nihikon, and Nippon Chemical, they will all be good. And it doesn't have to even be that brand. Like in here, my local supplier has a Hintaro chip. And that Hintaro oh, chip, uh, capacitor, you see that has a cross on it. So if you look in there, it's a Nihikon capacitor. And they're all, if you measure them, they're absolutely brilliant that they will exceed parameters. So that, that will be good for another 25 or more years, or maybe forever, because these are all Nihikon uh, brand capacitors, and they've been there for 25 or 30 years, and, and they're doing well, over 30. Perhaps this is from the 80s, end of 80s player, probably. So it's over 30 years. And, and if you take any of them out, they're good. So uh, just be careful on them, and of course I had other faults in that player, I had, um, lucky I've spotted that, so they look for faults, you know, abnormal things, this is open circuit, another one there was uh, three times the value, and that's why I had it, it started sort of reading things, but the motor wouldn't spin, so if your player doesn't read CDs, it's not a laser, if the motor doesn't spin, it's not necessarily the motor. You know, it's, 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 it's something else. I just put voltage on the motor, motor was spin straight away. So, um, so I knew it was something on the board and it was a couple of resistors. Sorry about this incoherent round, but, um, well, you just build experience on, on, on which capacitors are better, which are worse, and, and, um, and replace those that are most likely to, to be a source of your problems, you know, and, 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 and any Philips capacitor is, after 25 years, a good candidate. Even some of some of the ceramic ones, I remember from a radio days, there were 47 nano orange discs with red tops, and if you see one of them, you just have to take it out. Well, thank you very much for your time, and till the next one. And, and one more thing, well, this is this is where the lampization will go. I'll, I'll put a um, valve stage there and, and maybe another Lampusera duct to make it a really uh, high-end player. There's a beautiful spot for it there. And thank you to Marantz for, for providing it. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye.